Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tuomo and in this video I will show you how to set up Postgres database in just under two minutes with Docker. Let's hop into the computer and see how it's done. So what we'll do is run a Docker container with the Postgres image. And to do that we can use the following command. So we use docker run, then we'll define a port and after that we use environment variables with the uh, dash e to set up the Postgres password variable, then the Postgres user variable, and then the Postgres database variable. And finally, we define the image we want to run, which is the Postgres image. So let's run this. So now we have a Postgres database ready to accept connections. So as we see, it's pretty easy and simple to set up Postgres database with Docker. So how can we access this database then? Well, I'll open up a new terminal window and we can use the docker exec command to execute commands on our container. So first, let's get the ID of that container. We use the docker container ls command. And here is the ID for our Postgres container. Then we can use the docker exec command inside our container to run terminal and access the database. So we use the IT parameter to launch a terminal inside our container. And this is the container ID that our Postgres database is running in. Then inside the container, we use the PSQL to connect the database. And now let's run this. And now we have the Postgres database prompt and we can query the database as we want. One thing to note with this command we use to run the database, I switch back to the other terminal window. So here we have our Postgres database container running. So let's stop this with control C and take a look at the command we run. So with this command, every time we shut down the database, all the data is deleted. In other words, we don't persist the data. And if we want to persist the data, we can do that by adding a volume. And to do that, we can type the following. So with this command, we create a PG data volume that will now persist all the data inside our database, even if we shut down the container. So let's run this. And now we have our database running again, but this time all the data is persisted between shutdowns. So with this command, we can set up and start our own Postgres database with Docker. And if you like this video, please hit the like button below and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And I'll see you in the next video.